great day. Hello, Louise. Hello. Good morning, everyone. My name is Brittany. If you are new, it is a beautiful day outside. Too hot to run, but you know, never too hot to make some breakfast. So, woke up this morning. I started getting ready for the day. I haven't vlogged in a little while, so thought I would. Let's go make the bed. So comfort is very important to me. Throughout my classroom, through my home, I would just say like that is my theme. It's comfort. I don't have like a classroom theme or anything like that. I just love making people feel comfortable and I like being comfortable. So I have this rule and I've been following it, I would say like 95% of the time. When I make my bed in the morning, when I'm leaving for school, I do not get back into this bed until it is bedtime and I have been sleeping so much better that was something I really struggled with I would honestly say before we even moved like I would just get in bed it would be the first thing I would do I'd probably fall asleep and then I would feel so unmotivated throughout the rest of my afternoon and then when it was time to go to sleep I just wouldn't sleep does anyone else relate to that so when we moved, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the best sheets. I'm going to make this bed so comfortable and I'm not going to get back into it until it's time to go to bed, even though I'm still in it. But I need to make the bed. So let me show you my bedding essentials. My sheets are from Brook Linen. I truly think sheets are the most important part about a bed, I would say, other than the mattress that you are sleeping on. My sheets have to be comfortable cooling lightweight and just like it's like that feeling when you get into bed and you're like wow these are clean sheets that's how i feel every single time about these sheets so mine are from brooklinen i cannot recommend them enough so mine are this beautiful white but they come in a lot of different colors and i wouldn't say this is like a bright white it's almost like a nice cream color and i love when the sun hits the sheets it just doesn't that look so comfortable okay i need to actually make this bed now so let's go here she is in all of her glory i have the washing machine going it's quite loud and then i just throw a little knitted blanket on top of here but yeah, here she is in all of her glory. Got the headboard. It's a linen um, headboard, if you can't tell from my sheets. And just my home. I love linen. And you always have to karate chop the pillows. So you fluff them, and then down the middle, you just chop. We always keep throw blankets just around. It gets so cold in here at night. This is a beautiful throw blanket from Brooklinen as well. They do not just have sheets. So I have a few throws and let me show you what else. I want to show you this last thing. I film here a lot and I have towels in the background and people are like, hold up. Where's that towel from? It looks so plush. Not that one. This one. These are mine. Um, no one can touch these. So these are from Brooklyn Inn. And just look how big this is. This is what I'm talking about. This is like a blanket. This is what we need. I'm very defensive over my towels. If I have a guest come over, I'm like, sorry, this one's mine. No, I'm just kidding. I have a lot of these. A good towel is important. These are like thick. You know when... You just go like this, done, dry. So now that I think about it, Brooklinen is a big part of my morning routine. I make the bed, I wash my face, I get ready, I use their towels. Their towels for hand washing and like for your face, like a face towel, so incredible. Skincare is very important to me. If you know, you know. So I like using a really nice, thick, plush towel and I just gently pat it on my skin instead of taking a thin towel and just rubbing it. So if you want to check out Brooklyn Inn, you can head to their website. I'll link it here for you. And I have a code. It is BrittanyS20. It'll save you $20 off a purchase of $100 or more. You have to let me know if you get anything. I feel like this is what my life has become, talking about comfortable towels and sheets. Like that's when you know you have hit adulthood but those things bring me so much joy. Reese is laying here and I think we are going to head down and make some avo toast. Are you with me? Reese, do you want to go make avocado toast? Did you eat your food yet? Come on, let's go. I'm going to show you a few changes around the house. Do you hear that echo? We have like no rugs down here currently, but this is our light fixture when you come in and this mirror is quite high for me. Hi. <laughs> but this could not fit a table unfortunately because of where the door 
is. So we had someone put in a wood shelf and I love it. I love the way this came out. I need to figure out how I'm going to decorate it. I'm thinking about putting a little bowl there. Then we have this oil diffuser, is that what it's called? But we'll see. And then under here, I feel like I could add something, like maybe a basket. I kind of have to play it by ear and just go see what's out there. Okay, and then this is one of my favorite little additions to the home. We had this window that we didn't like that much, so we got a barn door put on it. It's like a barn door but window addition. So it's this beautiful black color. I don't know how to describe it. It lets in light, so I feel like it looks a little bit lighter. And then we did gold hardware. I just took the table that I used to have at the door and put it in front of here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it, but I feel like for now this will work. I put little fall pumpkins. We got a candle from Veluspa, Veluspa. And then this is from Kirkland's and I added just some cinnamon pine from Michael's. And then I, <laughs> if you know, you know about this pottery vase type of situation that I spray painted and then I added some pompous that I'll link below. This is Reese's like first bed he's ever had. We just refuse to get rid of it because he loves it. He just like digs his face into it. But I think I'm going to add a little rug here and two chairs. I'm really happy that we went with this on each one and we did that same gold hardware to match and then we did wooden shelves. I actually like that we went with a natural wood instead of just doing white it adds, I don't know, I guess some warmth, but I have nothing to decorate it with. And we actually finally sold our couch. We only had it for mm, maybe like a year. It just, it did not work for this home. I'm happy it could go to a new home. And we started looking at couches yesterday. So I'm excited to get a new one. All of the couches are back ordered right now. That's the only tough part. So we are couchless for a little while. But in the meantime, I'm going to look at rugs and coffee tables and all the things that you have to do. It's definitely a process, but I'm just happy that we didn't rush and we kind of lived in the home first before like assuming we needed a new couch. Um, it's kind of good to bring your pieces in, get to know the home and see, oh, okay, I actually need this. This is what I need for the space. All right, let's make some avo toast. All right, well, this is a buzzkill. Our avocados are so hard. They are not ready whatsoever. So this is just a piece of Ezekiel bread with everything bagel seasoning dip. It's like a Greek yogurt dip, but I think it's like cream cheese. I put some red onions and sriracha on it, so I'll have this for now and then see where the morning takes us. Well, that just did not do it. Yes, I have not had waffles and syrup in so long. Yes! Also, have I showed you guys this toaster? It's like a dupe for the Smeg one. Why pay over $100 for a toaster when you can have this beauty from Amazon that works great? Oh, I also got a Vitamix. I don't know if I told you, in an air fryer. I'm really, you know, stepping it up in the kitchen. So let's make these waffles. She is stunning. I'm going to get dressed and run a few errands. I need to go grocery shopping. I also would like to stop at Target to see if they have any little trinket type things that I could put on those shelves. I might do some research to see if there's any other like maybe thrift stores near here that are open. I really want to go to Home Goods, but it's kind of far from here. Oh, I might just do it anyways because because I know that they have good stuff, but it, then it's like a hit or miss. It's like I, I've the things that I have found at Home Goods, like my bedroom mirror, that pot, like that is good stuff. But sometimes you go and it's just not good. But sometimes you have to take a chance in order for something to be good. So maybe we'll go to Home Goods, Target, grocery shopping, and then tonight at 7:30 I have a panel with Aerie. I'm so excited. Cleo Wade is on it. And we're talking about self-care, I think validation, um, starting a passion project. So it's going to be really good, really informative. I'll post about it on Instagram, but by the time you're watching this, the panel would have already happened. But honestly, sitting on a panel with Cleo Wade is such a dream. I have her book and I just love her so very much. So I'm really looking forward to tonight. I can't believe it's like actually happening. All right, I ate that waffle and then I came upstairs to get dressed. This dress is from Loft, 
feel like it would be cute actually if you got a belt because it is oversized so you could like pinch it in at the waist and then I love this look of like a high neck moment but it's so hot here that I'm just going to let the strings hang these boots are from ASOS I'll see if I can find them and then this bag <laughs> It's like Princess Diary, this bag. You have one of those bags. This is like the first nice bag I ever got myself and I'm just so proud of it because one, it's from a black owned business. She is such a girl boss and she hand makes everything by herself. I already think for fall she's almost completely like filled with orders which is so incredible i'm so happy for her i just love everything that she makes and i just i feel so proud when i wear this bag because it represents so much more than just a purse it's a labor of love and vegan leather and i love her it's so bright very very bright but i just got to kirkland's i'm going to take you inside there's a pure one imports in here as well but i don't think i will be going in there it looks very picked over from what i can see but feels good to to go outside and be outside it's so hot here I after I showed you all my outfit I walked outside I started cracking up because I'm in this flannel she's in leggings but I'm in flannel boots it's just so hot in Florida like I should just be wearing a tank top and shorts but fall hot okay I did not film that much in there they really did not have much I got that little wooden circular thing and I got a table runner because we have a wood table and I'm really trying to protect it it'd be so cute to put the table runner obviously just like down the middle and then do like a really nice floral fall display of flowers so yes um there is a home goods like 10 minutes from here I'm really hoping it's not the home goods that's like a half TJ Maxx because then they don't have as much home goods -y things not a word but you know um, and then I'm gonna go to Target and Bath and Body Works so let's go to Target first then we'll see what's closer fingers crossed hoping for the best I just went grocery shopping. I'm going to do a whole haul when I get home. I'm exhausted. We went to so many places. Okay, I do not like pumpkin, but I got these. Pumpkin spice pretzel slims with crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. A lot of pumpkin. I do like pumpkin seeds and I like chocolate and I feel like this reminded me of that, so. Oh my gosh, listen to me. When you go to Trader Joe's, this is what you need. I'm not even a pumpkin person. These are so good. Probably dangerous to have them in the front seat with me for so many reasons. Mm, 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 mm. So I just got home. It's Sunday, so football is on here. So sorry if you hear that in the background. I'm going to show you a little food haul on what I got from Trader Joe's. Do you wanna say hi? Okay, so we got some Nova. We have reduced sodium turkey, which is really ironic because there's a lot of sodium in this. I also went to Publix and got salmon burgers, and I got, this sauce looked really good. We have an air fryer now, which I told you, so gotta get the sauces. Got some crackers, chips. Told you about these in the car, so good. We are big dip people in here, so we have Pesto, we're making pizza tonight, so I'll keep that out. And then hummus, I thought this one looked good. And then this is a Mediterranean style dip, looks good. Then we have eggs, honey crisp apples. This whole bag was $2.99. Honey crisp apples are really usually, ex usually really expensive, but this came with mini ones, which I thought was perfect. We have arugula, these are the best, fold the cone, some carrots. Brussels sprouts, a large cucumber, mozzarella cheese, goat cheese, brie, cinnamon rolls, obviously. Then we have mini cucumbers. I love bringing these to school for a snack. Some protein, 
diced onion. I usually cut it up myself, but you know, save time where you can. Pomegranate seeds, avocado, lemon, pretzels. I don't know, I was just hungry and grabbed puffins. <laughs> Banana, vanilla, bean paste. What else did I get? Grapes. And I think I'm missing, I usually wanted, like I have like a blueberry or a strawberry in my yogurt and I forgot that. Yeah, I'm running low on strawberries. This is the yogurt that I've been having. It's not dairy free, but it is good. It's Greek yogurt. And we really have been enjoying Celsius. If you've had it before, it's good. It gives me some energy. Down here, I still had some spinach and arugula, and this is the bread that I've been eating lately. It's the Ezekiel sesame seed bread. We use this to make our pizzas for the week, and I have a bunch of veggies. I have frozen veggies, veggies from last week, so we'll put that on top. I just buy, this is really good too, I buy this pizza sauce, and we do pizza sauce, pesto, mozzarella, and just like a bunch of veggies on top. And I thought these were so beautiful, so I got some tulips, it's a nice fall color. Okay, quick home goods haul. I got these candles that I'm going to put on the shelves. I'm going to attempt to style them tonight. This was really cool, it reminded me of something from Restoration Hardware. It has that distressed look. These beads are really popular, so I like it. It reminds me of like a little column. And then I just got some bins because in our cabinets I want to organize some of Reese's toys and games stuff like that so thought these were good came in a set of three for $9.99 Kirkland's smells so good inside so this still smells good but I got this for the shelves and then this for our dining room table I absolutely love this from Target I honestly want to use it as a vase but we'll see what it looks like on the shelves and then I thought this was really beautiful too it's um, like a little candle holder so maybe I'll put one of the candles inside so, oh my gosh, Reese's playing. I'm going to put away the food and start styling the shelves and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it's definitely a start. I am open to feedback. So I moved this large bowl up here that I had from Kirkland's and then kind of just styled some bottles. It might need more, I might need to layer some books. I'm thinking about keeping this open. And then over here, we have little books. These are some really cool vintage um, art magazines and then a little column candle that stools from Kirkland's as well and then I just added some more stuff I don't know what do you what do you think I do like this one a lot better it's coming along and that bowl used to be over here and now I like that there's a little bit more room maybe I can get a smaller bowl I don't know oh you know what I just realized hold on okay Speaking of bowl, I forgot that we had this beautiful bowl. I mean, it's supposed to be like that. It's distressed. We'll just go like that. But, okay, it's going somewhere, right? And then over here, maybe a little too busy up top. Yeah, I need to fix that. Okay, this is how I'm leaving it for now. You know, it's going to take a while to find things, to collect things. But I'm looking for things that are neutral, earthy. I love this like stone look. So if you have any recommendations, let your girl know. Homemade pizza honeys. So I did sauce, cheese, arugula, and oregano. I think his is pretty much the same, but added turkey. Also, table runner looks good. There we go, just having some water with it this is so cute i got it from amazon i took it with me today so i'm going to eat now and then get ready for the panel okay so i just finished up the panel of course i got super emotional during it i feel like anytime i share my story about unbreakable like it's so hard to tell my story without crying i just like feel it bubbling up so i'm very tired emotional but feeling empowered because i shared this space with so many wonderful amazing inspiring women women that just inspire me to keep going but anyways thank you for watching this video and taking some time out of your day or night to hang out with me it was a pretty good day today and i'm looking forward to tomorrow hopefully this week will be a good week and yeah i love you all so much you are worthy 
You are beautiful. You are important. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.